Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World on DT. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I'm not annexing Hastings just yet because that would drop me into negative happiness and I definitely don't want that to happen. Pachakuti is plotting against me, okay. I need to get some defenses in this city because I don't even have walls in there, never mind actual units to defend myself if, if someone attacks me. Having said that, I don't think Pachakuti is going to attack me. I have a lot of positive modifiers with him. And I Incas are not the types to like backstabbing, like England. So I think I should be safe. Right, one of my trade expired, but that was actually my last copy of gems. So I'm not going to renew that trade right now. And now I can get consulates. So that means rationalism is next, and that also means that I will get friendly with all the city-states very, very soon. I just need to wait around 20 turns right now. Yeah, I need to wait 20 turns and I will be friendly with all the city-states. So it's definitely worth delaying rationalism a little bit just for that. Right. Also, the World Congress vote is coming up and... I think I'm going to vote against my own proposal which was Scholars in Residence, but I'm actually one technology behind the leader right now. So I won't benefit from Scholars in Residence at all. I actually stand to lose from Scholars in Residence because I'm pretty sure I will become the technology leader in this game eventually, so then I would have to repeal it. And either way, I don't benefit from Scholars in Residence anymore, so I'm going to vote against it. It should fail if I vote against it, the AIs usually don't like it too much. Captain Nemo. That's my first great work. And I'm going to move it to my capital. To get the extra experience for my units in my capital specifically. Other than that, I'm not going after England just yet. I will take London. But before I do that, I want to get into industrial era. And get chemistry as well for some cannons. I want to have cannons when I go for London. She already has some musket men, and I'm going to need more power, firepower against London anyway. London has 47 combat strength, and it will probably have more by the time I declare war. But yeah, I'm going to vote against Scholars in Residence, and I fully expect it to fail now. I queued up a Colosseum in Asor because I'm a bit low on happiness. That's the main reason why I can't annex Hastings just yet, and now I'm in the negatives. But I should be able to grab some luxuries. I think Pachakuti had some extra luxuries. So let's see. I might be able to trade for some iron. Yes, iron and 90 gold. That's fine. That's a good deal. I'm okay with that. I need to get some more caravans and cargo ships. But I have other priorities right now. So for example in Nineveh. I'll need to get Artist's Guild and Musician's Guild. I think I'll chop down the forest to speed that up, if only a little bit. In my capital, I need to get Market and Garden and Colosseum, and maybe Zoo after that. So perhaps in Nimrod. I could grab one caravan in here. I guess that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, I need to fix my economy a bit, so I'll get two caravans. I still want to get some cargo ships, but by the time I can build cargo ships, it's going to take forever. I already queued up one cargo ships and one trebuchet for some defenses. But as you can see, this is going to take like 40 something turns. That's way too long. I can get some caravans meanwhile. I'm only using one out of five trade slots. So there we go. And I'm still in negative gold right now. I should be back in the positives once I finish economics. But I can definitely use more caravans. I should probably build caravans sorry, in Tenochtitlan. Because most of my trade routes will start here. Not just because I have more trading partners around here, but also because this is a safer city to start trade routes in. Since I will go to war with England again sometime soon. Which means I don't want them to pillage my trade routes. I will probably upgrade my siege towers too. They are a little bit outdated. The bonus they give is still nice, but 
they only have 12 combat strength, so that's a little bit low. They would get one shot by musket men most likely. How expensive is that? 145 gold, yeah, that's a bit pricey. I'll wait with that. <laughs> Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? I guess I don't need embassy with her, but whatever. I know where your capital is and you know where mine oh, is. Oh, no, I don't want open borders with you. Oh yeah, I should repair the iron because then I can trade that. Compound Definitely a good idea. Economics research is done and I can't steal from China anymore. Which means I can use my spy for actual city-states. So for example, I could kick China out of Kabul. Not a bad idea. I should have at least 80% chance to succeed, but it's a little bit risky. I usually don't like using rank 3 spies for that, because even with 90% chance to succeed, you still have 10% chance to fail, and losing rank 3 spy really hurts. It's very hard to get rank 3 spy, especially at this stage of the game. If I lost that guy, I can pretty much guarantee that I wouldn't get a rank 3 spy anytime soon again. But I'll do it right now anyway. Yeah, great. I think they pillaged something. Yeah, they pillaged my farm, but I don't have any units around here. Maybe the Inca will help me kill them. I do have open borders with the Inca. Another deal expired. Oh, I was selling horses to Gandhi. Okay. Let's have a look then. Oh, does he have some luxuries? Yes, he actually does. And I think my capital wants silver for Will of the King Day. Nice. Oh, he wants me to vote for what religion? Sorry, bro. What about horses plus 90 gold? Same as the deal with the Inca. That should work. Yeah, he accepted. Nice. So now I'm at plus 5 happiness. I could annex Hastings now. Yeah, they queued up a stable, but so I don't really need that. Let's annex it. So now I need to get a courthouse as fast as possible. Which will probably be, yeah, 12 turns. But that's not too bad, could have been worse. I'm about to finish Colosseum, so I will be back in positive happiness on the next turn. I still need to get more happiness though. But I will get some happiness once I get friendly with all of the city-states because there are at least two maritime, uh, mercantile city-states. Can I get allied with any of these? No. But there's at least one mercantile city-state that I'm not friendly with, or is there? No, apparently not. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Can I get allied with anything? No, 55. Not going to happen. Oh well, either way, I'm back in positive happiness, so that's what matters right now. I should probably change assignments a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't want to work the iron. I want the city to grow. There we go. What's that? Oh yeah, that's the barbarians. Come on, Pachakuti, kill them. I do have open borders with him. So he needs to move. It's weird that they didn't pillage the gems. Not that I'm complaining, I don't want to lose happiness. <laughs> Imagine that. So, not much I can do right now. But yeah, this will help my capital quite a bit. Speaking of which... No, all the tiles are assigned, okay. What about this city? No, they are not. But I think I'm fine working this tile. That will give me extra free gold per turn, but... Nah, 20 turns to grow, screw that. I'll just work free food. Alright, 15 turns is a little bit better. I need this city to be high population because I'm going to need at least 8 specialists in this city specifically. So I need more than 13 population to work 6 specialists. I'm actually going to need more than 6 because I'll get public schools later and research labs. But hopefully this city will be closer to 20 population by the time I get public schools and research labs. Caravan will be done in 3 turns. And my city is about to grow. Nice. So Pachakuti did help with barbarians. How nice of him. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to lose influence with city-states. England won't like me in this game anyway, especially if I take their capital. 
or when I take their capital, because it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. <laughs> There's the iron, now I could trade that. Wow, I'm losing 12 gold per turn right now. Oh yeah, that's because my trade route expired. Can I get some influence? Actually, no, I don't want influence, I need gold, so I'm going to send this caravan here and get some trade routes for gold. I do have a trade route with Costco available, so that should be some nice money, at least 10 gold, probably. I'm about to find out, and fingers crossed for some coal. I really hope I have some coal. I had so many games with zero coal, yeah, Peace Treaty expired, Gems to Gandhi expired. Do I have something for trade? Yes, now I have extra gems. But I want to trade the gems for another luxury with someone. With China, maybe? They have some spices, so I could trade for that. Oh, they don't want my gems. Well, piss off then. I could trade with England for a bit. I mean... I don't think I'm going to attack England in the next 30 turns. So, I could make that trade. Alright, let's do it. Go on. There we go. So that solves my happiness problems, at least for now. And yeah, I need to watch out for that crossbowman, but he can't attack me. At least he can't steal my worker if I start repairing. So, Cusco, I want a trade out there. Only 9 gold? I expected more than that. But I'll go for it anyway. That means I will be giving him 11 gold per turn, but I will get 9 gold per turn myself. So I'm okay with that. And I'm almost done repairing everything. I need to pillage these two road sections because I'm actually losing two gold per turn from that right now. I'll need to rebuild them once I take London, but I can always do that later. Gandhi wants me to attack Elizabeth. Yeah, I would almost be tempted to do that, but I'm not quite ready to go to war again. I'm not going to war at least until I finish chemistry research. Oh, nice. Great scientist. I would be tempted to use the Great Santis for an academy, but I don't see any good spot for an academy. I don't want to build academy on tile with one foot only. Because then my city won't grow as fast. Although I suppose I could do it. But I think I'm going to use the scientist for industrialization instead. I will almost finish industrialization if I use him for that. Okay, let's do it. So, only two turns. I think that was a better use of Great Scientist in this situation. If I had a good location for Academy, like this one, then I would have done it for sure. I chop down the forest. I guess I'll just build a farm here. Another caravan is done. Off you go then. So I should be back in positive gold. Again. Open borders? Yeah, okay. I need to keep an eye on their culture, though. And I need to start thinking about my ideology. I'm not sure what kind of ideology I'm going to go for. I'm not sure if this is... I, I mean, I don't think this is going to be strictly domination game at this point. I don't know. I need to decide before I go for ideology. But I still have some time. I won't be getting free factories anytime soon, just yet. Right, now I need to change these tiles a bit, because the sheep with the pasture is much better than plains with farm. This looks fine. Yeah, it looks okay. So, fingers crossed for coal. I really need some coal. Hmm. Why is that crossbowman not moving? But I guess Pachakuti will kill him in just a moment. Five gold only, that's kind of low. Are there any quests that I can do? Yeah, there is one over here and here. I think Quebec City is on the other side of the world. Yeah, it is. So I can't get that quest done. But Yerevan is much closer. Yeah, it's over here, but... I'm going to lose that caravan when I go to war with England, so I think I'll pass. But I don't see any good trade routes here, which is a little bit surprising, actually. Hmm. Let's have a look at the list of trade routes. I have some good trade routes available with England, but I'm not doing that, obviously. 
I could move some production between my cities, that's a possibility. Actually, yes, I could move some production to Nineveh. That's actually a pretty good idea, because my production in this city is very, very low. That's my lowest production city by far. So I'm going to use that caravan for that exact purpose. I already have a workshop in my capital, so I can do it. Gems? No. I might be able to get a better deal for my gems. Yeah, England is plotting against me. Not very surprising. When were they not plotting against me? That would be a better question. Okay, give me coal. I need coal. Nope, zero. Really? I didn't get any coal? Are you serious right now? I don't even see any. Okay, there's some coal right here. So that's good. That's the only source of coal that I could possibly get. So now I have to start this city over here. Which means I'm going to grab a settler in my capital right away. I need to secure that location. I was going to grab that city in the future anyway. Or well, I guess it's about time to grab this location if I want it. And I think I'm going to grab a location on the mountain, not on the river. I'd rather get the extra science from observatory than gardens and such. So I'll build it on this jungle tile, I think. I could also build it literally on top of the coal. That might not be such a bad idea. But it's going to be a bit too close to Nineveh. This is the best location, I think. Yeah. Because then it's five tiles away from Nineveh. And six or seven tiles away from this city. Right. But first I need to actually finish that settler. Let's get rid of this road. I'm still losing money, which is kind of irritating. And I won't fix the situation by using my caravan for production, but... I really want to speed up the guilds in there. So I'll use the caravan for it anyway. Seven turns left, so that's not too bad. Do I actually have some slots for that, other than the palace? No, I don't. But I have some time to get a museum or two. And I'll need some opera houses as well, when I get Musicians Guild. Well, I can always use great artists for Golden Ages. So, no big loss. Right, so, now I'm going to grab Chemistry and Fertilizer after that. Well, Chemistry for sure. I might go for Scientific Theory after that. I could go for Scientific Theory first and then for Chemistry. It all depends on when I want to attack England and London. I don't think I'm quite ready to go for London just yet, so I could actually go for Scientific Theory first. I can always build trebuchets and then upgrade them to cannons. And I want to get started on public schools as fast as possible. So I'm going to grab Scientific Theory first. I also want to get Porcelain Tower secured. I don't really have any competition for that because no other civilization has rationalism. But someone might decide to get one point in rationalism and steal Porcelain Tower from me. So I want to get it as fast as possible. Yeah, here's that bug in action again. Minus 20 turns left of friendship with Germany. Pachakuti backstabbed Germany. That's interesting. I wonder if that's because of the bug or did he really backstab them? I didn't think Pachakuti likes backstabbing people. But apparently he does. But again, that could have been the bug in action. Yeah, here's another one. Minus 15 turns left. So this game is a little bit odd, I have to say. Anyway, spy. Oh, right. I was going to use my spy in Kabul. So let's do it. There we go. So now I'm going to move them both somewhere else. Let's see. Vancouver, 41. 120, that's a bit too much. 56. 29, Mogadishu. Okay, Mogadishu. So I'll send this guy to Mogadishu. And the other guy to Vancouver. And I might be able to take both of these cities. That would be nice. Off you go then. Right. How much more influence do I need to get friendly? It should happen soon. Nine more turns. Alright then. That should give me a lot of bonuses. 
when I get friendly with all of these city-states. Are there some militaristic city-states? That would be nice. Yeah, there's one. Two. Only two militaristic city-states, but I will get some units for free. Once I get friendly with them. So really, I think I'm going to go for patronage in every game I play. It's just so hard to give up the consulates bonus. Because it's so awesome. At least I'm having a hard time giving that up. I mean, sh yeah, sure, you can win without that, but you save so much money and you get so many bonuses for free. It's a little bit too good, I would say. England captured one of the city-states, scumbags. Where is it? I don't even see it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, okay, that's a bit strange. They went all the way here to capture that city. They must have used ships. Yeah, that's quite possible, seeing how their unique unit is ship of the line. So that's probably what happened. Still, that's a little bit surprising. Right, my settler will be done soon, so this is going to be the exact location, I think. The one I'm pointing at right now. That means I lose one jungle, but this is a better location, I think. I could always settle on top of the uh, hill, but I don't like settling on hill resources, because these tiles have some really good potential. Anyway, I still got some time to decide. So, World Congress again. Oh, yeah, pick the host. Pachacuti is going to be the host. Actually, no. Romance will be the host. I could vote for someone to get extra influence now. And I'm probably going to do exactly that. Let's see. Do I need any extra influence with anyone specific? Not necessarily. Maybe with Pachacuti or with Gandhi. Pachacuti was plotting against me, apparently, so I suppose I could vote for him. I don't want him to be the host, though. Not necessarily. He won't have enough votes? Or will he? Yes, he will, actually. If I vote for him, he will be the host. Okay. I'm going to vote for Gandhi, then, to get extra influence with Gandhi. There we go. Now he'll have six votes total. So Romance will be the new host. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But I don't really care about Romance right now. Well, it's good for me if I end up declaring war on, let's say, Pachacuti. I would almost want Pachacuti to declare war on me, but not when my city is undefended. Because, yeah, I'll have to break my declaration of friendship if I want to go to war with him. I don't know if I'm going to go to war with anyone after I'm done with England. I'll have to decide. England is my natural next target, but I don't really have any good target after that. Yep, Romans are the new host, as expected. They got 8 votes right now. The settler is almost done. And, oh yeah, I need to reassign the tiles. Let's see, yeah, this one. I'm running out of food tiles. I need to get some farms up here. But I'm getting one farm over here. Looks good. Why is it... St oh, it's stagnating because of the settler, right. But it won't really make any difference. I can't speed the settler up. Yes, I can, apparently. Okay. Garden is next. So, okay. I don't see any more changes. I'll change assignments on the next turn. One thing I could do is build a fleet and then take some coastal cities from China, for example, but I don't think that's the best way to do it. I would have to sail to the other side of the world. That would take a long time, not to mention building up a fleet in one city only would also take forever. So I don't think that's such a good idea. If I want to go to war with someone new, then I'll just have to go to war with Pachacuti. Or with Germans. I won't, get, I won't be surprised if Germans get wiped out. That's quite possible. I could also take Berlin from England. That's not such a bad idea. 
Well, we'll see. I got time to decide. So, the settler is done, off you go. This is going to be the tile, unless I change my mind before the next part, because this one is almost done. In fact, I'm going to finish it here and change all of these assignments before I start recording next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.